Assuming you haven't gotten better over a period of two, three, four, five, six weeks and are having symptoms of pain down the arm, your doctor may ask that you move forward and get a further workup to confirm a diagnosis of cervical herniated disc. Now there are different types of testing you can have. X-rays, CAT scans, MRI, bone scan, PET scan. The best test to diagnose the herniated disc is the MRI scan. So you may not even need an X-ray. You may go right away to having the MRI scan. This MRI will show the, the discs and the nerves and will confirm the diagnosis. If you can't get an MRI scan, a CAT scan frequently is done and that too may show a cervical herniated disc. If that's not clear with either a CAT scan or an MRI, a test such as a CT myelogram may, may be done. This is very rare, but it can be done for that. X-rays will not show a herniated disc. The best test for a herniated disc is the MRI scan and frequently we wait several weeks, even four, five, six weeks before we order our first MRI in a patient who's having symptoms of a herniated disc. So if you've gone four or five weeks and you're continuing with symptoms, that may be the time to speak to your doctor about getting an MRI scan of the cervical spine.